At five, how a robot brought domestic bliss to outer space. There's a long list of, of, uh, of descriptions of Crichton that I've always liked. Novelty condom head. I respect your sense of dress more than anything, and I really appreciate your opinion of this outfit. He's got a head like a like a peculiarly sculpted lump of mashed potato. <laughs> you think I'm attractive? <laughs> you, of course not. I think you look like a giant half-chewed rubber tip pencil. I don't know why that one <laughs> tickled me. <laughs> didn't expect Red Dwarf to remain popular uh, as long as it has done. Uh, I, in fact, I didn't, you know, I was, it was a blessing it was popular at all from our point of view. Welcome to the mining ship Red Dwarf. Three million years in the future, with its crew of holograms, cats, slobs and a mechanoid bogbot. When we first created Crichton, it was as a guest uh, in, a, uh, in an episode in season two. <gasps> So we didn't think about his long-term character at the time, and, and he basically was just a, a, an eager-to-please uh, manservant. I'm programmed to serve. There's no one to serve now, Crichton, that's the point. What about Mr. Arnold? I've got to complete Mr. Arnold's tasks. Couldn't have done it without Crichton here. Yeah? Oh, I'm sorry, sirs, I had no choice. I'm programmed to obey, no matter how psychotic and deranged the human order. But by series three, Crichton was a permanent feature of Red Dwarf, with a new face under the rubber makeup in Robert Llewellyn. Consider, Crichton's character always intrigued me because he was designed and built to be a, a service mechanoid to, to clean the toilets and the, the service ducts. I just thought I'd give your quarters a quick tickle around, sir. I won't take a jiff. Bogbot is how he's often referred to. He's a sort of cleaning droid. <laughs> That? Oh yes, I can plug a number of add-ons into my groinal socket, allowing me to <laughs> allowing me to perform virtually any household task imaginable. He's quite obscene in his own way. <laughs> what? So you just like stick the head whisk attachment on the end, and you can like whip up a Spanish omelette? I certainly can, sir. But it's amazing how few people are prepared to eat them. <laughs> the look sort of uh, evolved really out of necessity. He's a uh, a handsome, rugged, six-foot-tall, <laughs> chiselled individual <laughs> whose head is made of rubber. It was my turn to be main head next month. Well, obviously, that's no longer possible. <laughs> Aren't you happy for me? I'm not a mechanoid. I'm not second class anymore. We wanted to have his face sort of angled and uh, to look, you know, so he looked less than human and uh, uh, pronouncedly uh, an android. What about Spearhead 3? You can't just leave him here. He's got droid rot. The makeup for Crichton was extraordinary because one of the things I th assumed when I first met the, the writers and the producers was that it would be like a Robocop thing where you'd have some sort of helmet with funny eyes, you know, and, you, and that would be the only bit that would be seen. Be said, yes, sir. You came into this world as a mechanoid, and a mechanoid you'll always be. I don't have to take this from you. I'm a human. Shut your stupid flat head. The mask is one piece, like a rubber balaclava, really. And the only way you could imagine what it felt like as if you could pull a hot water bottle onto your head not full an empty one with two holes for your eyes and holes for your nose so you could breathe but you kept it on all day if you can imagine what that would be like that's that's not as bad as the Crichton mask what's it like it's indescribable sparehead too the curse of it was it looked really good you know I'd moan and complain about how uncomfortable it was I'd look in the mirror and go no it's extraordinary I'll be right down sir you'd better be now, Crichton, remember yesterday's class and introduction to insults? Crichton deserves a spot in the top ten rows because, frankly, he's the most pleasant of all the robots. How do we describe the gentleman who's just been on the screen? He's Mr... No, 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 come on, he's a... You know he'll help you. And in fact, in Crichton's case, he would actually destroy himself very willingly in order to make your life better. He's a speed. He's a... He's one of those lovable characters that, you know, I think you'd want uh, as a mate. He's a smeg. Hey! Crichton from Red Dwarf, tidying up at number five in our chart. Watch out for him in a brand new series of How Clean Is Your Space Station?